Hey guys, this is my 10 month update. Like, we're almost at a year. I am so freaking excited. Y'all just don't know I'm ready to be at a year so I can like do more. Like, as you can see, I like this little twist out thing I have going on right now, but but this definition that I just achieved today would have been so gorgeous on my inches that I had last year. So I'm just trying to get back to where I was. I did do a video on this hair, so it will be out soon. Be on the lookout. Today is a very, very, very special day. And I don't know if you all know, actually, if you've been watching me since I started this channel, you should know what today is. Do you know what today is? It's our anniversary. Hey anniversary y'all it is my five years of being completely natural hairversary so this is not how I imagined my five-year anniversary at all like I should have been like mid back waist length by now but you know we have setbacks we live and we learn and we continue on with life so I'm still happy that I have made it five years completely natural with no relaxers, no texturizers, um, I guess no color too even though I am very, very tempted to color my hair. I have never had color in my hair, but when I see these cute and dope pictures of natural hair girls with their color, with the ombre, that like a very blended ombre look is like goals for me but I am super scared to color my hair I don't know if I'll ever be able to build up the courage to color my hair but I can fantasize I can live through y'all basically when y'all post y'all cute pictures with the hair care I'm living through y'all because it's life like you you giving me life okay and a lot of you don't know I've actually been on my um, natural hair journey since 2010 but I ran into a couple of situations with texturizer and stuff, you know, just trying to basically, I guess, still not loving my hair for what it was and I wanted the curly look so I did a couple of texturizers. So yeah, I ended up cutting that off and that is the second big chop, which is the beginning of my YouTube channel was from my second big chop, that's after. I did the texturizers and all that and just completely was over it. I was like, I want to really love my hair. So my first Big Chop on this channel is actually my second Big Chop. I wasn't on YouTube um, when I started my original journey, which like I said was in 2010. I just transitioned under my weaves or whatever because my intentions was not actually to go natural in the sense that it is today um in 2010 it was natural hair people walking around or whatever and i would notice it it was the beginning of this whole natural hair care movement and stuff i just wanted my hair to be long and i just noticed that a lot of people who didn't have relaxers hair were longer than people who did have relaxers so my goal was to just stop getting relaxers and grow my hair under my weaves and still be straightening it and all of that so it just turned into this as I started seeing people actually wear their natural hair in this natural state and I was loving it honestly I was feeling it I'm like yes I want to be one of y'all so chopped my hair off I ended up falling in love with a vlogger she is like the number one hair crush, I believe, that is on YouTube. I fell in love with her hair and her curls, and I wanted those curls. Envying, you know, someone else's hair, which you should not do. Focus on your hair. But anyway, I ended up getting a texturizer because I wanted my hair to look just like hers. And it was looking very nice and loose curls and whatnot, but my hair constantly stayed at the length it was when I started texturizing. I couldn't keep the length and I had to keep up with the texturizers like a relaxer and I, I wasn't about that life anymore or I didn't want to be about that life anymore. I'm like basically this is like a light 
perm. And this whole thing was like a mental journey for me and I just wanted to be in love with me, be in love with myself, all the features and everything that God made me to be. So I did the big chop, I got all the texturizer off. Thus, everything that you have seen from my first video on now, that's what you see. That kind of sums up my whole five years being natural, really when it's like eight years, but like I said, the texturizer is basically a perm, so I don't consider that a part of my natural hair journey, but I did start trying to be natural in 2010. So you guys, to piggyback off of my last update, which was my nine month update, I'm gonna let you know how I like the products that I was showing. So starting with, I think the one that people wanted to know about the most, which was the Natural All um, Hair Solution. Basically, I'm not gonna buy it again. If you wanna know more about how I feel about that product, I did do a video on it. The link to that will be in the description box below too. You can check that out. Head and shoulders did not work for my scalp. I mean, it worked a little bit and I've washed my hair maybe like three or four times with it now. And I don't know, it's just not what I thought it would have done. I'm still gonna try the Sulfur 8 that was suggested. I just haven't had time to go to the store and look for it or whatever. The Carol's Daughter Resolve Clay Mask. I'm not buying that again. I am gonna use it up, but it, it didn't do anything for my hair. It's, it felt like it just sits on top of my hair. It doesn't penetrate. It doesn't do anything. The last thing was the bentonite clay in OMG. Y'all, that's my baby now. Like that, that is an automatic staple. When I use that, my hair is so soft and it's a little more defined and it's shiny. It's just everything so that is definitely bay now there's an extra item that i didn't have in the last update video but since i've been on the hunt on a serious hunt for a great deep conditioner i figured in the meantime while i'm still trying to find a good deep conditioner that does everything that i wanted to do that i would you know kind of experiment and do a little diy one and omg y'all it's basically a play off of the natural thing because I'm like, okay, if avocado is really good for you, like they say it's good for you, I'm going to try to make a DIY deep conditioner with the base being avocados. So I definitely did a video on that too, and that will be up as well pretty soon. I still want to find a store-bought deep conditioner that I'm absolutely in love with for when I don't feel like making anything because that it gets time consuming and sometimes you just don't feel like doing it you just want something that has a shelf life that you can just go to the store and buy so i am still looking for a really good deep conditioner for that purpose but until i find that i am definitely definitely gonna keep on making this diy deep conditioner so i guess that's all i have to say for this update let's go ahead to the lint check So you guys, that's it for my 10 month update. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to share it and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.